Between us, there's absolutely nothing legal. It's totally unjustified. Between us, there's absolutely nothing legal in Ops's departure. His depar departure is totally unjustified, at least until he says why he really left, because until today, Ops just left to join his girlfriend because she felt bad to be alone. And maybe I'm wrong, who knows? Tea time! Holy shit! Bro, oh my god, tea time, tea time, tea time. Guys, we need fucking tea time. Anyway, those were the last words he said to us before he left one day. Before the worlds. Of course, after the worlds, I asked for details, but apparently he didn't tell anyone the exact reason for his departure. There's nothing urgent because otherwise he would have told us. And personally, I don't give a damn about the privacy reason when I worked. We all worked hard for one year to reach worlds. Knowing that even the management of fanatics still doesn't know. You're going to tell me why I'm saying this. I'm not trying to create any drama. I'm just saying some things that I have in my heart since the end of the world. And I still answer things that had to be said sooner or later. That is all for parenthesis. I don't know what that means. I'm English too bad. Now that Absent is gone, we have to deal with it. Maybe we could have made it out of groups if everyone had managed to keep the spirits up from the beginning of the competition. But unfortunately, not everyone was really mentally prepared to handle the situation and deal with it, along with all the potential personal problems that can arise and create even more shit in your head when you're already in bad shape. Believe it or not, our words, uh, worlds in general would not have been jo joyful from the beginning to the end, far from it. It was hard, but we still managed to go until the end to stay together and to give everything we had in the second week. We will have finished our adventures without any regret. Now we come to post-worlds moment. Afterwards, I tried to have explanations about Ops' departure as I said before without answers. After that, I was seriously thinking about leaving Fnatic. Then came perks and afar rumors when I learned that Fnatic was trying to replace me. I honestly felt like a betrayal, and that's why I definitely want to leave this team. But it's not over yet. Indeed, perks had signed before a party which left afar without a team. Okay. Um, to my great surprise, Upset tried to recruit Alfari, behind my back, of course. Not surprised. I learned later that after the world, he was already trying to change the top set, including Niski. I also learned later that the bottle in general didn't want to play with me anymore and was looking for a veteran type of top laner. Of course, afterwards, I went to see Upset to explain myself and let me understand that I was not up to his ambitions. Obviously, I had no problem with this situation because it just gave me the opportunity to, to do a short time in less than optimal conditions for me and allowed me to evolve in a lot shorter. I understand the players with big conditions as they want to be patient how to teach the game to newcomers. Holy shit. Tea time. This is some real tea time, guys. Let me pick a champion. I love because I was shitted like shit by the management and even the players of the team. But I consider that I played a very important role in the success of Fnatic during this summer. It's not for nothing that we managed to go from fifth place to second place in the space of a split. People tend to forget that, and even when you're a rookie, you don't have shit to say. When other people have like 10,000 times, you say, you're say you saying everything related to team building. That's not wrong at all. That's completely accurate. I have very good memories of my adventure of Fnatic as a whole. I just ended, it just ended in a very unfortunate way, but I laughed because I could not support what was happening or what happened. Or a big thank you to everyone who loved me during the short adventure. Love you all every minute. <laughs> yeah, guys. I'm just waiting for all the people to apologize to me. Maybe one day. Maybe one day it will happen. Maybe one day it will happen. Who knows?